One of the hardest areas we know in, of Irma is the Florida Keys. The chain of islands at the southern tip of the state has one highway in and out. As residents return home this morning, they're seeing such incredible damage. Our Amy Robach flew over the area and saw it firsthand. Good morning, Amy. Good morning to you, Robin. We have seen the power of wind and water over the past several days here in South Florida. Behind me is another stunning example, boat piled upon boat here at a marina in Miami. And it is a scene that we saw over and over again as we flew over the Florida Keys. And that devastation will be witnessed firsthand by the residents of the Florida Keys as Monroe County officials reopened that one road that leads in and out of the Keys this morning. As residents are making their way back to the Keys for the first time this morning, these are the devastating images of Irma's destruction, the once paradise beaches filled with debris. This is just north of where Hurricane Irma made landfall as a Category 4 hurricane, and you can see what it left behind here on the beaches of Marathon. Streets lined with seaweed and shipwrecked boats. The iconic southernmost point in the U.S. battered by vicious waves. I saw it all firsthand as I flew over Marathon Key. This is just incredible. See what happened to mobile homes, trailers here in Marathon. They are estimated. About 80% of Key's residents are still without power. There's an entire lot where mobile homes used to be completely empty because they got all pushed and smashed together. Incredible. So sad. Monday, U.S. Senators Bill Nelson and Marco Rubio toured the damage with the National Guard, bringing in much-needed supplies. Key West, the most southern stretch, took the biggest beating. I just hope everybody, um, you know, survived. It's going to be a long road. Areas like Key Largo and Long Key faring better than expected, but tempers were flaring Monday. Residents told they weren't allowed back in. Right now, we don't know where to go. And just to give you an idea how extensive the damage is in the Keys, the Department of Defense has warned residents, those people who decided to stay behind, not to evacuate the Keys, that they may now have to evacuate so that work crews can get in and clean up all the damage, guys. Such anxious times there. All right, Amy, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.